The Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism spokesperson Romeo Muyunda in a media statement said the suspects were arrested in four incidents in the region's adjustment to the national park. All the arrests and confiscated items including two vehicles, five rifles, ammunition, axes and knives are suspected to be linked to the recent poaching incident in Etosha. Cash of close to $50,000 was also found in possession of the accused during the arrests. The items are subjected to an in-depth investigation to establish positive links with the carcasses discovered in the park last month. All the 11 accused are remanded in custody and their case is postponed to August and September in various magistrates' courts of Ondangwa, Tsumep and Okahau. In addition, the ministry says there has also been new developments in other cases currently on the court roll and those being investigated. This includes the arrest of four suspects in 2018 at a traffic checkpoint found with fresh rhino horns and a hunting rifle. Based on ballistic and DNA, this case is now being linked to the two rhino carcasses that were discovered in Etosha during August 2018. The trial of the four suspects is expected to start in the Ochoarongo Magistrate Court tomorrow. Another case was reported in May 2020 when two rhino horns were confiscated during an underground operation in Ochoarongo. During this operation, another two horns and a hunting rifle were seized at the residence of self-proclaimed prophet Jackson Babi in Ventuk. Those two cases, too, are being linked based on ballistics, DNA and other technical evidence and are all set for trial on 19 August 2022. The ministry also revealed that two suspects were recently arrested before they could enter a Tosha with a rifle, 11 rounds of live ammunition, silencer, axe and knife, among others. Julia Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.